How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So it's a pretty gray morning on the farm this morning, but um, yeah, not not a bad one. But anyway, since the previous episode, um, all of the major structures on this piece of land for the dealership has been completed. So we now have our second shed constructed. We also have our third shed constructed, but we'll get to that in a minute. We have got a lovely little wash bay over here with drainage and all and a nice Karcher pressure washer. So that's going to be really, really handy. And then we also have a 10,000 liter diesel tank over here. And I put 1,000 liters of diesel in there because, yeah, fuel's expensive. So I wasn't going to go for a full tank. But this is the area that I sort of spoke about, which is going to be sort of a service area, but an open air service area. So if we have combines with big headers and things like that, um, that needs to be serviced, we can bring them into here. For the most part, though, we'll be doing our servicing in here because it's sort of under a roof. So it'll be nice and shady when it's warm and um, yeah, also dry when, well, when it's raining. And then over here, we have a lot of packing space so we need to get to buying some more equipment to fill this all up and the baler I also serviced that so that has been out here displayed for a little bit but we are not going to hang around here for too long today um, I've got the gates and everything open but we need to go to the other farm because we need to do quite a bit of farm work in fact we are way behind on our farm work because this big field over here needs to be cultivated and seeded but the other field is seeded but it needs to be rolled fertilized and weeded so yeah we've got a big weed problem over there which is a little bit annoying because i actually weeded that field before so yeah that that definitely was a big waste of time which i sort of realized pretty quickly but yeah i went ahead and did it anyway but yeah anyways you live and learn so we need to get rid of the weeds over here. We need to do a bit of fertilizer spreading. And then we need to do a bit of rolling as well. Because there's a lot of stones and things that came up with the cultivating. Which is to be expected. So yeah, that is the plan for, for this morning at least. Get this field knocked out. And then hopefully we can head over and start the cultivating on the big field. I don't know if we'll get to seed over on that field today. Uh, probably not, but I, at a bare minimum, want to get this knocked out and hopefully get cultivated out there. So, that is the plan. So, I have to get the big bags out of the way and I need to get the weed out. So, we'll weed first and then we'll do fertilizer spreading and then we'll do rolling. Do we have fertilizer? I think we do. It looks like we've got a bag over there, but, um, probably we'll have to go get some more. But, we'll use what we've got first. And, um, yeah. Anyway, so, the combine has been... Oh, hang on. Hello? All right, well, that was the agency, and they have got a job for us. And obviously, the first thing I said was, nope, can't do it. We've got too much going on. But she did say that it's a big job. It's a big seeding job. And she didn't give a specific amount, but she said the pay will be over $10,000. So... I kind of had to say yes. So unfortunately our other field is going to have to wait a little bit longer. So we'll get this one knocked out and then we'll head over and do that seeding job a little bit later on today. But yeah, we're, we're sort of cutting it fine now with that other field. So we're going to maybe have to work through a few nights to get that knocked out if we have to. We'll see how it goes today. Maybe we can still get into that field later on it just depends on how big that job is that seating job and how long it's going to take but it sounds like it's a really big field so yeah could take a while but anyway we'll need to get this field knocked out first anyway before we head over there but what i was saying uh, before my phone rang is with regards to the combine i need to find a space where we can put that combine through winter because it's just been sort of really well serviced and looked after and all so I don't want that sitting out in the snow and the weather all winter long because yeah then we'll just have to redo everything next season so obviously we'll we'll get a serviced and all again next season but I don't want everything sort of perishing on it so 
yeah, we need a bit more space. And I was thinking maybe we can move some of the equipment over to the new land, but I don't want to sort of put our personal equipment in the the dealership sheds because, well, then people are going to think it's for sale. So what I was thinking is maybe we have to, or we can head over and see how that other little piece of land looks that we own that I keep on forgetting about that's across the road from the dealership. So I don't know how much of that we own, but I think it's a fair little chunk. So if we maybe get a bit of groundwork done there and maybe put up one or two sheds, that'll give us quite a nice little bit of space that's not too hard to get to because we can just use these little back roads and you end up right there so maybe not a bad idea to look into that obviously money wise i don't know if it's the right thing to do right now because we need to buy quite a bit of equipment but yeah we can also really do with a bit more space for all of our equipment on the farm so yeah maybe maybe we'll look into that i'm not 100 percent sure yet just kind of an idea the tractor isn't too happy right now. I think there's maybe something wrong with the design on this weeder that we bought from Zach. Because it seems to be a bit of a homemade job. And the white was having trouble with it as well. The only tractor that hasn't been having issues with it is Zach's tractor. So I wonder if he maybe built this thing and it was working fine on his tractor. So it just expected it to be fine but it doesn't seem to be working on any other tractors that well it seems to sort of lift the back up a bit too much so yeah i don't know exactly what the deal is but they're not too expensive so we might have to maybe just look at something else and get rid of this we definitely can't do that today though so that'll have to be something for the future but we are gonna jump into a real quick time lapse we're gonna get the weeding knocked out here we're gonna get the fertilizing done and we'll get the rolling done as well and then i'll catch you guys when we are done and we'll head over and see what the seeding job is but for now sit back relax and enjoy well that took all of my morning to get done and we're definitely gonna need some bigger equipment with this new field yeah i don't know it's a bit of a problem at the moment but i had to phone up jason and asking if they have any weeders in stock and this is the only one that they have so i had to go with that it was nine and a half thousand dollars not cheap but the other one just wasn't working so i just decided that enough is enough because we're going to need one for the other field as well 
So I drove up and dropped it, cleaned it up real quick, dropped it at the dealership. So that is up for sale now. And I went over and they luckily had this ready. They actually had two of them over there. So I was able to grab one on the spot and it did the job pretty well. It's, it's a bit slow going with this one, but um, yeah, it's, it's okay. It did the job. So that's good. At least um, it wasn't lifting the back of the, the tractor up. So that was good. Anyway, we uh, need to head over and see where this other field is. Um, this job for the agency so that we can go and do that. Apparently, it's a big seating job. How big? I'm not sure, but we'll find out real soon. So we're going to head up there real quick. And oh, hang on. Hello. All right. Well, that was someone that's interested in the John Deere tractor that's sitting over at the dealership. So he was there earlier. He had a look at it and he wants to come down and sort of have a look inside and all. So he's on his way. So I said I'll meet him here. So I'm going to wait for him. See if he wants to make a deal on this thing. And um, after that, we'll head out to this other job and see where we're at and how big this job is. And hopefully we can get it knocked out because we need to get into this field as soon as we possibly can. But I'm going to wait for this guy. He says is just in town. So um, yeah, he'll be here in a few minutes and we'll see if we can make a deal if he likes a tractor. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys when we're done. All right. Well, we made a deal on it. 30,000 is what we got. That was the asking price. So I'm very happy with that. So they're just busy loading up there and they're going to be on their way real soon. But yeah, really nice guy. And that is the 4755 gone. So I'm very happy about that. We've got 30,000 in the bank. And that means we've got a bit more money again to, well, to look out for a few other things. So hopefully the equipment that we're using here today has GPS because that means I can sort of browse around on my phone a little bit and see if there's any equipment for sale. Oh, oh, please tell me that is the equipment we're using. I think it is because that looks like, well, the instructions that I got in terms of directions. So, oh, oh, that, yeah, that's a massive field. Oh my goodness, this is going to take a while, but look at that. That is beautiful. 2375. Oh my goodness. Amazon. That is a huge cedar. So it's a big field, but it's a very, very big cedar as well. So we're putting barley in here today. Yeah. Well, um, it's big equipment for a big field. Let's have a look inside. Ooh. Oh, purrs like a kitten. Beautiful. All right. Well, we are going to get the GPS and everything set up on this field. And we're going to jump straight back into another time lapse. So for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Alright, well that is job done and that didn't actually take as long as I was expecting it to take. I mean it wasn't quick, but um, it wasn't too bad, but it is a really really big cedar, like a really big cedar and a really nice tractor as well. 
It did struggle a little bit on the uphills though, but again, it's a big cedar, so I'm not too surprised by that. But um, yeah, we're going to head back to the farm and I took a bit of time and browsed around on the old interwebs to see if there's any equipment for sale in the area. And there's actually quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is, oh, that guy just, oh my goodness, he just blew through that intersection. We nearly, nearly, <laughs> oh, I can't even speak. We nearly had a big accident there. Oh my goodness. Anyways, whoa. I, I completely lost my train of thought there. That was very nearly a very big accident because I was at speed as well. Oh my goodness. Um, right, what was I saying? I, I'm going to spend tonight to make a bit of a short list of the equipment that I'm somewhat interested in. And then maybe tomorrow we can go have a look at some of them. Maybe. But um, we need to take care of this field First. That is going to be priority number one. We need to get this cultivated and seeded. Um, but yeah, maybe we can go look at a bit of equipment. So that'll be nice. I'll tell you what. Something that I have to stop doing while I'm in equipment with GPS is go on all of these little video short... short What do they call them? Uh, short format video platforms. Because, oh my goodness, they are so... Addictive and also I'm gonna have my money don't jiggle jiggle it folds stuck in my head for the next three days So that's gonna be fun and um, I hope now that all of you will have that stuck in your head as well And if you don't know what I'm talking about well, then you've been living under a rock frankly and um, also what I wanted to do as well is a quote of the day because I haven't done one in a little while frankly well, because I forgot. And you guys have been asking for it quite a bit. So, today's quote of the day is, It doesn't matter how slow or how fast you are going, as long as you keep going. And I really like that one. Because it kind of sums up everything that we've got running on the farm here. Because sometimes it feels like everything's just going really, really slowly. But if you have a look at what we've built... It's, it's incredible. We have got so much going on at the moment and we have built so much in not a huge amount of time, but sometimes it just feels like everything's going slowly. But as long as we keep going, look what we can do. So just, just keep going, even if you're going slow. So yeah, if you don't know quote of the day, what you have to do is pause the video and type the quote of the day, which is, it doesn't matter how slow or how fast you are going, as long as you keep going in the comment section below this video. And the first person to do so gets pinned. So yeah, that's how that works. But we are going to leave it there for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you all next time.